Greetings everyone, this is Planet Mitch, founder and chief astronomer over at lightrumors.co with several updates today. Most exciting, we got a little bit of an update from Light about their improved software. But first, let me tell you about our brand new logo, which you see here. Very excited about that. We did a contest over at 99designs.com and got quite a few entries and I selected this one as the winner. Uh, really, really very happy with this particular logo. And you see it here on our website. We've done a little bit of work on the website and this is the same logo in a black and white version. This is our brand new front page, which will be showing recent posts and recent videos in summaries, as well as other updates. Uh, you can always get to the blog up in the menu. That would be right up here, the second item. Very exciting is the countdown. We are at 42 days and 21 hours, approximately, until light starts shipping L16s to those who pre-ordered. Uh, I set this based on noon central time on June. I set this on noon central time July 14th. So the number of hours might be a little different depending upon where your time zone is, but it all depends upon when they start shipping, right? But basically 42 days and counting. So that's pretty dead gum exciting. On their website, they have added a blog post about image improvements, and you can see that they have shared with us two images from two different dates each, a February 17th version of the software and a May 2017 version of the software. Uh, I'm going to dive into each of these images in Lightroom to show you a little bit more. The top image kind of looks a little dark, doesn't it? But we're going to dive in there and see if we can bring out some of those shadow areas. They are saying that they have fixed the auto white balance and they have reduced aberrations and color fringing. One of the images from the Cuba shoot was this gentleman wearing a bright hat in bright midday sun. And here we see the two side-by-side -side software versions, the left being the February version and the right showing the improvements. And we can see very quickly with this image that the auto white balance is giving us a much better skin tone, not so blue kind of an image. You can see purple fringing down here in the beard in the February version, as well as behind the back of the neck, there is fringing here. I found some blurriness going on back here in the back of the hat as well when I was doing the prior analysis and I think there's a little bit better improvement. Uh, it's hard to tell. Might be about the same here but you can see definitely that the fringing is gone in the beard and the hair in the back of the neck and that's awesome. This image, the white balance is much better and very impressed with the way this image looks. Now this is the Yosemite image they shared with us. Uh, this is a brand new image. They posted it on their blog. Uh, we did not see it in the images we reviewed earlier, like the Cuba images we saw. On first blush, this is a very difficult image to process and shoot. Uh, obviously we have a very, very dark foreground, some middle tones, as well as some very bright whites and sky to deal with. The February image was obviously very bluish and we've got much better coloration in the May software version. Let's look at the histogram on this one. You'll notice that the darks are very dark and the brights are very bright and the question is can we pull anything out of this? So let's just quickly pull down the highlights uh, again, I'm in Lightroom, so we can see on both sides that we were able to bring down the sky. Uh, there is a little bit of banding here. You may not be able to see it on the YouTube version. Uh, I would expect when we get much higher resolution images that will be gone. Uh, but what about the darks?
So let's go down and bring up the shadows with the slider. And you can instantly see that we have a whole lot of detail. Let me zoom in over here. We have a whole lot of detail in these trees that we, we weren't seeing in the very first image that came straight out of the camera. When I brought the shadows up, you see that the blue spike here came down quite a bit. We've got a good gap here at the top end. Uh, so we don't really have anything blown out. The darks down here are really just the frame, the black frame between the uh, two images. So there's not really anything to worry about there. But it's very nice that we were able to pull up these images. And if we look at the image from before, up along the top end of the mountains and looking at the trees, in this area, all along here, you see some blue fringing or purple fringing in the February software. And if we look at the current image from May, you will see that that's, that's all gone. It's, it's very natural looking. Again, this is a three times uh, magnification. Uh, but all along the edges here, we have we have lost any fringing whatsoever, and it looks pretty crisp. Pretty darn, that's a pretty darn good image for so far away. And there's the dark side and the brights, and it's not blown out. So we have lots of good whites here. We have in between mid-tones, and then we have the darkness down here at the bottom that we were able to bring up quite a bit. The great news about all of this, not only are we getting image improvement out of the Light 16 software and the hardware, but these updates were rolled out last week according to my contact over at Light to the folks that have beta cameras and they use the over-the-air feature or OTA in order to notify you of software updates. Uh, I was told it was much like updating your smartphone. You'll be notified that there's an update. You can update the software if you'd like. And so images that were taken with older software can take advantage of the new software, which is really awesome. So this is an example of the improvements that they are working on right now. They have Again, 42 days to start shipping, but even after that, we will be able to get software updates sent down to your camera, update it wirelessly over the air as long as you have Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, and these are going to be some awesome images, I believe. Uh, I was also told the closer that we get to release, we will get larger images. We still haven't gotten any full-size images yet. Come on, baby, we're hoping for some of those just to be able to get in and play with these. But we do appreciate the updates from the good folks at Light. These images, of course, are courtesy of light.co. Go check out their blog over there at spotlight.light.co. I think that's what the URL is. If that's not right, they'll I'll put it in the in the show notes. <laughs> uh, as another update, just as a teaser, uh, as things get closer to release. Uh, I will be improving the website. I will be working harder on an ebook for the Light L16 as well as a training program. So keep your eyes peeled on lightrumors.co. On the right side of the blog, we have several things that you can sign up for. If you're not a member of our daily news, I highly advise you sign up for that. There is a button here that will get you a one-click sign-up with Facebook if you want to go ahead and use your Facebook login, email address. All of the blog posts down at the bottom have a sign-up if you want to give your first name and email address if you don't want to use the other method. And yes, I'm going to update this with the new logo. Just haven't made that yet, but I'll get there. Uh, we also have a Facebook group, so click on that link to go join that. If you're a Reddit fan, we've got a link over to Reddit. And of course, there is our Flickr Light L16 group. So when we start seeing L16 images out there in the world, 
You can also find Light Rumors over on Instagram. If you're an like, Instagram fan, sign up over there. Check us out. We're posting news. And, of course, when we get photos, we will be posting them there as well. Thanks for tuning in, signing up, joining the Facebook group, and look forward to talking with you when we have our ebook and training programs set up when the light is shipping. Countdown is 42 plus days, so we're pretty darn excited around here. I hope you are too. Thanks. This is Planet Mitch from Light Rumors.